Let's have some sushi Korean style. This is a 10 out of 10 for me. Awesome. Here's my family right. recipe. First, you need three tablespoons of gochujang. Legit Korean recipes are always done using the standard soup spoon. Hey, you can see my reflection. Gochujang. Bowl to a bowl. The sweetener is Korean syrup, but not everybody is a weirdo making sushi videos on the internet. Hey, you can see my reflection. Light corn syrup also works well, but it does have a little bit of vanilla and it can alter the taste. Honey works just fine, so I'm using that. Bit crystallized. Some sesame seeds and sugar. This is white distilled vinegar. vinegar. And finally, some meshil chung. Chung, 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 chung. This is Korean plum syrup. It's sweet, sour. It's going to add that bright, fruity acidity. Finally, three cloves of garlic. Give that a good mix. It should turn into a nice, pourable sauce. Nice. Let's get our salmon sashimi ready. Let's get it plated. Beautiful. Let's give it a taste. Super excited. This is actually my lunch. I have the chojang, chogochujang that we just made today. I have our old classic bay, soy sauce, and wasabi. Yes, you're not supposed to mix them in. I do it. Don't yuck my yum. Don't yuck my yum. All right. I always say how amazing this sauce is, but this is a 10 out of 10 for me. The gochujang, obviously it's got that fermented, a little bit of smoky, and you got the spiciness coming through. And then you have the sweetness from the honey, the sugar, and the little bit of that chung. It makes this really complex flavor profile. Sweet, sour, spicy, garlicky. Four amazing flavor profiles right there. That's just wonderful with a neutral fish, a fatty fish like uh, salmon. It's good with tuna too, but I think salmon is where it's at. And hirame, which is halibut, is also really good with this. And it's so easy to make. Gochujang in the recent years have become so popular, so it's probably already in your pantry. And all the other items, especially using the honey, so easy to find. You know, to switch it up, let's do the uh, soy sauce wasabi. That's great too. The fattiness of the fish with the wasabi, technically horseradish, with the soy sauce, classic combination. A little bit of the chojang, a bit of the soy sauce wasabi. I think going one or the other is probably better. 10 out of 10. Save this recipe, make it, tag me in a chogo chojang, or as we say in Busan, chojang. All right, thank you.